Hi, so today we're going to be talking about how to use a tool called Tamper Data to intercept and modify requests that pass between you and a web application within Firefox. So Tamper Data can be downloaded via the Firefox add-ons page. It's a simple installation, and I'll provide a link in the comments for that add-on. And once you've installed Tamper Data, simply visit any website where you'd like to modify the requests. Then go up to Tools and click on Tamper Data. And then, before you enter your data and submit the page, simply click Start Tamper. Now we're going to type in some text here and hit Submit. And you'll notice that Tamper Data pops up a window with three options, Submit, Abort Request, and Tamper. If you submit the data, it will simply pass through without being modified. Aborting the request causes the request to be aborted and the page will not actually load. Uh, clicking on Tamper will allow you to modify the request and then pass them along as well. So we're going to click on Tamper. And when you click on this, you can see a number of options. On the left are the header parameters. There's a host, user agent, accept, and other parameters, including cookie. On the right are the parameters that you're probably more worried about. These are the post parameters, such as Bob, which we entered as F name, and uh, L name for Smith. Now these parameters are the ones that you can modify to directly affect the performance and the actions of the web application itself. So for example, let's just change this from Bob to hello and Smith to you, and hit enter to accept our changes. You'll now notice that on the original web page, although we originally typed in Bob Smith under first name and last name, the request has been changed from Bob to hello for F name and Smith to you for last name. So these parameters were the ones that we edited using Tamper Data. So Tamper Data is a easy tool to use, and as you'll notice here, it just appeared because anytime there's any sort of background request sent from the browser, it's also intercepted as well. Um, so if we click on Submit, it'll just allow that to go through. Uh, Tamper Data is also great for browsing previous requests and for editing any sort of uh, data that's being passed between you and the application. You can also uh, edit the headers. As you noticed before, the box that popped up, all of the header options were uh, had little text boxes next to them where you could change, for example, your user agent string or something like that. So it's a great way to modify any sort of request that's sent to the application. So if you have any questions about using Tamper Data, be sure to leave a comment and I'll try to help you out.